The oil and gas industry has come to recognize now that the oil reservoirs in the subsurface can undergo multiple stages of tectonics beyond the original one, which involved burial, oil generation, and the original entrapment stage where oil moved into a structurally high trap in the subsurface. Those multiple stages of tectonics can take one of three different forms. And what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the first kind of tectonic adjustment that occurs in the subsurface which moves oil around and creates what we like to call a residual oil zone or ROZ wherein water has invaded a formerly oil trap portion of a reservoir and the only oil left in that portion of the trap is that what we call residual oil that's in corners of the pore spaces or perhaps uh, attached to the rock surfaces itself. For the purposes of this discussion, we'll walk through uh, four slides here in the first part of this and then go to an animation to make it clear how this might work for a ROS type one uh, residual oil zone. What we've got in this first slide is a hypothetical original entrapment that uh, might have might have been formed many years, many ages ago in the geologic past. And what we're going to do is, in the case of this first type of ROS, we're going to tilt the left side, or what we call the west side of this uh, hypothetical trap, down and, and actually move oil out of the trap and, and displace a po portion of that pore space, or a wedge, of that pore space with water. That's what we call type one. And then type two is a different kind of a readjustment due to tectonic activity. And it's one that uh, would activate a fault perhaps in the subsurface and some of the oil or maybe all of the oil leaked out of that subsurface trap, that paleo trap, that original trap. And, and water invaded vertically from below and created a, a smaller trap or perhaps no trap at all. We won't cover that on, in this particular uh, animation. We'll leave that for a later day. The third type of trap is what we call a type three ROS, wherein we have a hydrodynamic gradient where we might move water like in this slide from left to right and displace oil to the right. And this one leads to a tilted oil water contact. This particular type is very common in the Permian Basin. But let's go back to type one, and that's what we're gonna concentrate on in this presentation. And we have an animation to help you understand how this one might occur in the subsurface. And we have, in this case, a downward tilt this would be what we call the west side is tilting downward and you see this water encroach vertically upward uh, into that former paleo trap and move oil out and water goes in the pore spaces. On the east here, we're losing oil past the spill point. It's going out to the east, probably to a, another entrapment, a secondary entrapment somewhere off to the east. In this case, the ROZ that's formed is a wedge shape with its thickest side on the west, and the oil water contact that was in the paleo trap is now moved down and forms the base of the ROZ, whereas the new oil water contact, which has to be horizontal due to gravity effects, creates the top of the ROZ, and so we have a wedge shape with its thickest side on the, on the west side of the, the paleo trap. And that's the target that we go after with enhanced oil recovery. When the oil saturations are sufficient, we can get that economically in today's methods of EOR.